there's this saying that, that I've heard is, you know, being an artist is not so much what you make, but it's how you see the world. In my process, I spend a great deal of time just looking at my work. When you're painting, if you, if you don't sort of step back and, and take breaks and take a moment to look at your work, you can lose your peace. I'll sit in front of a painting sometimes for, you know, for 30 minutes before I actually get up and do anything to it. It's not optional. It's, it's actually really, really important to my process. When I'm in my early stage and I'm just sort of laying down paint, the risk is very low because I'm gonna cover up most of it. But, but as I go along, the stakes get higher and every mark I make becomes that much more important. There's a certain part of the process where I can sort of stop and say, okay, what does this painting wanna be? How does it wanna feel? And that, that is really it, is how does it wanna feel? I'm inspired by this notion of of infinity and of, of endlessness. And, and I, I try to achieve that visually in my work a bit, at the sense of looking into a deep sense of space. So I think about things like forests. I love really deep, endless forests. I love deep oceans and the fact that you can't see that far in front of you. Um, and there are things out there and things to see and discover and explore, but you can't see them until you keep going. And outer space as well. I just think there's real beauty in the idea of that. I think, you know, everybody sees something in abstract art themselves differently, and that's the point of it. It's about emotion and feeling and, and a sense of something that a painting gives and it's also really really okay for it to just be beautiful and that's gosh that's that's really okay if somebody thinks my paintings are beautiful